Hi, I'm Jadi, and let's solve another challenge from MS, MHS CTF. It was a very cool CTF. I say it was, it still continues while I'm recording this, but the point is our team practically solved all of the cases except one in the cryptography, which I will attack tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, I wanted to show you this one transposer still it has 15 points i say still because in some of these cts ctfs and this one we are playing initially each question has some points say 50 points as soon as teams starts the game and they start solving the challenges the more teams who solve a challenge its points reduces for example this sanity check is solved by 700 teams so it only has two points this discord is solved by 500 teams so only three points this way it's better for your team and for your total results to attack more challenging more difficult questions instead of going for the easy ones so when this transpose still has 15 points it means it was not that easy for people when i solved it you will see that it is easy uh, it says transposer and the description is i've intercepted this critical file by but it just seems like gibberish I'll need you to get the flag for me. And there is only one file to download. As I always mention, read this carefully. Sometimes these contain some clues. This name, Transposer, is our clue. I've downloaded the file. Let's have a look. Where is it? Uh, if I do with less, you see, this is the gibberish file challenge is talking about and there should be a flag somewhere the solution is easy i will show you but the problem is when you don't have any clue it's very difficult to start attacking checking different things in ctf challenges we start by examining the file searching for things seeing if we can find some patterns for example in this case uh, if I open this with Wim, you will see that it has 100 lines. And if I do 100 and go this to the other side, it also has 100 columns. So it's a square file. This will give you some clues. Another clue comes from the name, Transposer. If you are into cryptography, Transposer ciphers are well known to you. Transposers are kind of cryptographic ciphers when the position of the plain text are changed. Your characters are displaced, so it's difficult to find them. A very uh, cool and well-known way is rail fence. See, if I have this plain text, we are discovered flee at once you can write it in this way like writing in a fence but read and transmit it like this so we are discovered will be w e c r l then this then this then this this way it's very difficult to find out what was the main message it's very difficult for a normal people in modern cryptography, this is not considered as a cryptography. It's a historical cryptography. Anyway, there are different ways to do this. If you are interested, read this article. But one way is a columnar transposition. And as you can see, the number of rows and the number of columns are the same. But sometimes you should get a clue to... Uh, which tells you replace this column 
with this row then go for this for example if you want to open this that would be uh first use this column then this one and everything so in this case we don't have a clue so i try to write a program to brute force it although it's not very feasible but fun fact is it worked after it worked i found out because it worked kind of fast because this is the most simple possible transposition change only the columns with the rows first column will be the first row second column will be the second row so it's very easy let's go to the ipython it's good to work with ipython because it makes things easier sorry let's chat the file first this is our file let's copy it this is it let's go to the ipython in the ipython you can just directly give it python commands it will keep the variables and everything and it's very easy to work i would say ciphertext equals this so now i have ciphertext if i do the ciphertext split it with new line i will have an array of my ciphertext so i will say c equals this now my ciphertext is an array of the rows i want to transpose the rows with the columns it's very easy i will say my plain text is ah uh, sorry multiplied by 100 so my plain text is a empty strings array of 100 or a list to be more pythonic then i will say for i in range of 100 then for j in range of 100 if i print the c i and j it will be it will reproduce the same c but it if i will print the c if i can just easily do the c j and i it will change the columns it's a general pattern after some time you will learn it i mean thinking about it is a little bit more difficult if i may say or more confusing but when you are doing for i in the range for j in the range and then you are printing c i and j practically you are printing the same thing but if you print c j and i you are reversing the columns and the rows so this can be a way so i will print this i'm just changing the columns and rows but i'm not going to the new line so here i can go to the new line after printing each row print a new line and here i will tell it and is nothing okay now we are changing this if i search for flag here it should be visible somewhere ah okay it's here see flag is lot of text to read very easy to solve if you know what you are doing but if you don't know and you are just trying to find out what's going on it's more difficult what i did was i had the c i made a c like this i made two loops one goes on the rows for each row i will go on the columns but instead of printing i and j i'm printing j and i so i'm printing this then this then this then this then this and when the columns is finished i will print a new line so this is the equivalent of the first column but there is another fun thing here as you saw okay I release it okay it worked as you saw we just transposed the rows and columns and it worked this tells you something if i do a vim on the file my 
Oh, I saw it. It's very interesting. <laughs> it's here. Because I just transposed and printed this like this. So it is flag, curly bracket open, lot of text to read. And it's here. It's very easy. So it was much easier than even what I've just done. But just to give you a hint, as you saw, only 80 teams solved this. This is not much. Why is that? Because when you face a text like this, it's very difficult to decide on what you should do. You have to start by gathering information. This is what every single hacker will tell you. Gather information. For example, in this case, in the beginning, I know that the flag is in this format. Blah, 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 blah. And curly bracket should be closed. So what I did was, in the beginning, I tried to search for the flag. There is no flag here. Then I try to search for curly bracket open. Only one found. Try to search for a closed. Only one found. And this should tell me something. See? They are in the same column. So this should might be my flag. If I was wise enough, I would see this even faster. This is my flag. Okay, enjoy hacking. Participate in CTFs. You will learn lots of things because it will challenge you in the new areas. It will let you search for things. You are not playing just to solve everything. You are playing to learn new things. Enjoy hacking. I was Jack.